All right, everyone, welcome back to another wild ride of discovery here on Asterisk Extreme Nature Adventures. Today, we're diving into a subject that's both dark and captivating Lake Natron in Tanzania. Now, let me tell you, this place might just be one of the most dangerous lakes on the planet. We're talking about water that's scalding hot, reaching up to 60 degrees Celsius, which can burn your skin in just five seconds. Isn't that mind blowing? Um, wait, so like, what exactly makes the water so deadly? I mean, I can't even imagine touching something that hot, right? And, oh wow, does it actually hurt? Great question. So, the water is incredibly caustic. It's rich in sodium bicarbonate, which, on a chemical level, can actually break down human tissue. Imagine dipping your hand into a bowl of acid. Whoa, that's so intense. So, like, can any animals survive there, or is it just a wasteland? Oh, absolutely. It's a hostile environment for most life forms. But there's one remarkable creature that thrives there. The flamingo. The irony is that while it's deadly for us, the flamingos love it. They feed on the microalgae and thrive because they have built up this incredible resistance to the water's caustic properties. Hmm, that's fascinating. I mean, it's like these birds have superpowers or something. But what happens if you just accidentally touch the water? I mean, do people really go there and try it out? They do. I mean, think of it like this. It's like a dare, right? People often want to push the limits of their experiences. But if you do touch it, you won't just get a splash. It would burn like you wouldn't believe. Last summer, I heard of a guy who touched it out of curiosity. He ended up with third degree burns. Ouch. That's like something out of a horror movie. Was it really that dramatic? Like, could he even feel it happening? It was pretty dramatic. It's like stepping onto hot coals. Your skin reacts long before you even realize what's happening. Now here's the wild part. While we were on our journey to Lake Natron, we flew into Ethiopia and drove several hours to Arusha. Can you imagine all that anticipation? Wow. So it's a whole adventure just getting there. And what was the landscape like? I mean, Ethiopia has some stunning views, right? Absolutely. The Great Rift Valley is breathtaking. Its geological features are truly awe-inspiring. Imagine driving through hills and spotting wildlife, like zebras or elephants. After that, reaching Lake Natron, with its surreal landscape and the nearby volcano in the backdrop, was surreal, to say the least. Incredible! I would love to see that. But, huh, did you get a chance to touch the water then? Or was that off-limits altogether? Well, we didn't dare touch the lake. I can be adventurous, but safety first, right? Instead, we focused on exploring while maintaining a safe distance. We ended the day visiting a nearby waterfall, and it was the most refreshing experience after the hot, dry landscapes. Ah, that sounds like a perfect balance. Like, chill in the hot sun and then jump into this cool, refreshing waterfall? Sounds amazing. Exactly. So remember, embracing the wild is about finding that balance. And if you want a sneak peek into more adventures like this, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Can't wait to share our next journey with you all. Peace out. Laughs. All right, I'm definitely hitting that like button. Peace out.